Okay, so I'm testing this recording feature out, um, and at the same time, I'm going to show you how to change the um, the tone of one of the characters from um, Character Creator 4 when you take it into Unreal Engine 5, and you use the um, the uh, transfer um, through like Live Link. Uh, I did it from iClone, but when you bring them in, um, you can import them using the, um, the this live link and um, this uh, CC setup. And in the CC setup, I use the uh, high quality, uh, ultra high quality skin shader, um, and it make it brings them in and it sets everything up. But what I found is that it doesn't set them up 100% correct. Um, the face is usually really shiny and the body is usually very subdued so as you can see this difference in um, the neck from the face down to the neck and then the chest the arms all those things look kind of dry dryish so um, you basically you just select the the thing you want to change I don't really want his arms like really shiny um, I think it looks kind of plastic like so I'm, I might not adjust the arms like that and you won't you can't see his legs because he has on pants but that little piece of his chest needs a little bit of a shine to it um, so I've already opened it and what I want to do is also want to browse to the asset to him to the character so when you open it you can hit the little um cinder block and it'll bring it'll make the um the character now me personally it'd be you know of course it'd be just easier if all static meshes when you select them that's just what populates i don't know why you need the circle the the um cylinder and the flat plane um if you have a static mesh selected. I can understand if you don't have anything, if you're just making a material and you want to see what it looks like on those different shapes. But if you have a static mesh selected and you double click or whatever, you open it up, um, if you open up the uh, material editor, it should just populate. But it's cool. I mean, just an extra click. So um, here, usually when you have um, things that look dry that's going to have to do with your roughness so we go to the roughness multiplier and if we take it down it makes it look more wet so we just got to try to get it as close to it as possible um yeah i think that's about it because the way the light is going to hit the body, that probably would be about at 104. Let's see what 01 does. Uh, 0100. Oh, 01. Oh, 01. Oh, 01. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yeah, so I want to get it as close to that dry but kind of shine as I can I might do the arms the same I don't really want them looking shiny though um, yeah, not really or maybe not I'll probably leave them like they are but um, yeah so real quick that's how you change that He might have just, he might be sweating under that jacket, uh, oiled itself up or whatever. Or I could go to reverse and I could make the face look a little more dry. Um, but for um, melanated skin, it's going to usually be a little shiny. I mean, look at mine, you know, with the light, it's, it's shiny. I don't put no oil on, <laughs> that's just natural. That's just that natural sun-kissed skin, baby. That's that natural sun-kissed. So, 
um, but my arms not shiny. Let's see if I can get the light on now. Yeah, not not shiny like my head. So yeah. Um but you know, artist preference. I'm gonna leave it. So you do what you like with yours. Um and yeah, so that's that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Thanks for tuning in. New beings, we're coming. Hey, stay creative. Peace.